what is up everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to focus on the basics these are the basics again man if you've been following me that's that's just kind of where i i don't know man it's where i found my passion it's where i found my niche it's where i found what i get fired up on like i get fired up on teaching the beginner like showing the beginner the most basic steps but the most important steps and really really teaching in a way where that person from the beginning, you leave them with a good habit. Like I tell people all the time, when I'm consulting with clients, social media clients, when I'm speaking to them every single day, I'm like, dude, you guys are missing the basics. Like you guys are missing the basics. Like everyone wants three, four, and five, but they don't even pay any attention to step one and two. You know what I mean? Like the basics, that's what this channel is all about, man. Focused on the basics. This right here is the most basic but the most important. And that's why I tell people, man, it's like, dude, not only are the basics the most important just to build the foundation, but to also build the habit and to get into the right right mindset of, of doing something the right way because you could do something the wrong way forever. Shit, we've all had those experiences. How long have you guys been doing the wrong thing? How long have you guys been spending money on the wrong thing, spending time on the wrong thing? We've all been there, done that. Right. So it's like you don't want to spend time doing the wrong thing because then you build a bad habit. And it's 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 a it's a paradigm that's hard to change. Right. I know many people that are stuck in their paradigm. They're stuck in their negative perspective on shit. And it's not good, man. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to show you the most important basic that I that I that I even, you know, found myself on last night. That's what even inspired me to make this video. I'm like, damn, that's something that I need to talk about because that was something that's super basic, but super, super important. And most people miss it. And so last night, what I was doing is I was going through all of my pages, right? Like my whole intention was to make sure, and, and this is something that you guys can do And this, my landing page software, my email, my email autoresponder, my calendars, my affiliate marketing, different promos, affiliate marketing, um, hosting of my videos, hosting of my membership course. For any of you guys that are selling knowledge, that are selling information, for any of you that have digital products, my memberships, I have a digital course, right? And I'm rolling out more. That right there is insanely powerful. I, I host my membership course here. Um, my pages, all my landing pages and freaking, and then my products, right? I could send you a shopping cart. You enter your name, your name and credit card number and boom, that money's deposited. That's my products. I can run everything. I don't need a SAM cart. I don't need any kind of third party software to charge a credit card. Like obviously, yeah, Stripe, we use Stripe. Stripe is the, is the merchant account, Stripe, but it's processed through Kartra. It's processed through um, the cartridge system, right? In other other ways, you'd have to go get separate software for that, right? Unless you're just PayPaling, which you're not going to just PayPal. You need to be taking credit cards. So everything is in my in my Kartra account, right? There's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. But last night, man, I was going through all of my pages and I said, here's what I need to do because I, 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 I rebranded a lot of them. This dark blue, I love that dark blue and white. That that's kind of my whole my whole you know look that I'm just simply putting out. Simple man, simple, basic, 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 basic. But what you want to do is that at, at whatever brand, and that's why a lot of you guys have different brands. You have different products. Like me, I have different products. Not every page is going to look look identical, but at the same time, what I'm saying is that you should try to get a lot of them to look the same like that's the branding you know and i got that from billy jean it really popped out on billy jean and dan henry mainly billy jean yeah and dan henry when i see his his emails that come out that's what inspired me to just simply do my emails like this because i'm telling you man we're all learning from each other like i'm seeing what people that are doing eight figures a year eight figures online selling products online doing eight figures doing nine figures i'm following the same people you know what I mean? But I'm actually, you know, just really, really trying to pay attention. Right. Um, and so just different ideas, but the same color that like that dark blue and that white, that's what I wanted to run with. So that's my, my, my inspired blue. Um, but I got that idea from a Dan Henry who would have a page like that, but it's black and white. 
or I started noticing that from Billy Jean, every single thing is his turquoise and black, like every page, man, every email, like all the branding of that color is there. Super important, man. And it goes a long, long way. So, so anyways, last night, this ain't about the cosmetics of the page, the color, whatever. Some of you like blue, some of you don't like blue. No big deal. Do do you, right? But that's not even the point of this message. The, the whole point was that my whole goal last night, and I did it fairly fast, is I wanted to make sure, because I've, I've changed pages, I, 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 I deleted a few pages, like I, I, I switched around different products, different, different, you know, different different price points there's so much that's going on behind the scenes right and so i wanted to clone all these pages so they would all have that that blue so that's how i did a lot of this is that a lot of these were clone pages so i'd create one here's the actual you know freaking um page created this straight the template was already there all i did was fill in the blanks um And so this page became my master page, right? Simple page, ain't nothing to it at, at all. Like it's just, it's, it's, it's what I email, you know? So a lot of you that are on my email list, if you're on any of my email list, if you're on fbadsforbeginners.com, if you're on digitalagencyblueprint.com, um, if you're on those two specifically, you're getting emails from me that, that look like this. They're coming to a page where my Facebook pixel is tracking you that's what you better be on man your game better be up you better step your game up you better have that facebook pixel tracking all of your pages and so as i just got done putting together like like so for example this is a page you know takes people straight to my affiliate link which is setting up a Karcher account so those of you that are still playing around with click funnels like i have a couple pages up here that i'm gonna be hacking but I'm not a customer, but some of you that are still on ClickFunnels or on Lead Pages or Kajabi or any of these other softwares, man, I'm telling you, you need to quit. If you're in any of these third-party freaking calendars, like a Calendly, okay, you got the free version, but it's like, damn, everyone got the free version. Step your game up. What do you got to do? Pay 10 bucks a month, 15 bucks a month to have the normal calendar, but little things like that. You're, you're paying separately for your email autoresponder. You can only be on MailChimp for so long, bro. Like you can only be on it free for so long. After, you know, you go and get a couple thousand emails, you got to step your game up. What are you paying for MailChimp? 25 bucks a month. What are you paying for schedule once or a freaking um, 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 convert kit or any of these other CRMs and email autoresponders? What are you paying for that? Like, it's like, dude, it's not cheap, man. I use this one system for everything, everything I mentioned, everything. I just showed you over here, everything to the left. I use this one, you know, profit with Kartra dot online. But let's, let, let's go to what I was talking about. This became my master. I cloned this, right? So after I got done, you know, cloning that, let, let's go back. I, I started creating every page around, around, that new temp, around that new template. I would just come over, I would come over to it. I click the three, the three dots and I would click, click clone and I would clone the page and then boom, just write, change out the text, change out the video because the next video is done for you. And then I cloned it again and then I ended up creating this one, how I turn on. And then I, I, I cloned it again. I'm pretty sure I cloned it again, but all these pages are cloned like these step three, step two, step one, cloned, step four, step five. All I did is I created the page once and if it's a series of, 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 of messages or if it's, a, if it's a funnel, like the pages want to match. All this is is a five-day email sequence. So all those pages match. Different video, you know what I mean? So I spent a lot of time over the last few days is what I'm trying to say. So let's get to the point. I spent a lot of time in the last few days cloning and, and, and changing. Even, even my, my, look, this is my main page. So if you even want to know remotely what I'm, you know, what I, what I do, it's really just, you know, you have your, your hub page, your home page. So even though you all have social media platforms and you guys are crushing it online, some type of home page is, is, it's cool. Like just, just a random page because that home page resembles your brand. That home page resembles kind of who you are. And it doesn't have to be fancy at all. Like simple one page. 
what you're going to be able to do, do with it. And here's what I'm doing with it. And here's what my mentors do with it. Simple. They come to this hub, this hub, and these are my three products. So these are my three digital products. These are all digital products that I'm going to turn into courses that I'm going to be educating and teaching people, you know, certain subjects that course is hosted on Kartra. So everything I do, man, everything I do is on this one is on this one page. I mean, excuse me, software profit with Kartra, you know, dot online, but I created all of that. I created all of that here. And so here's the, here's the whole point of even having something this basic and simple. Yes. It leads people out to my products, but even if people don't go there, that's no big deal. What I'm getting out of it is the data I'm tracking everyone. So if you're coming to my page, obviously you're, you're something you've been following me somewhere. Like how in the hell are you going to know to go to inspireddigital.com? You don't even know who inspireddigital.com is. Like who the hell is that? Like the only reason, the only way you even know that is if you're following me. So Instagram, Facebook, all of you guys on YouTube, like other than that, how, how else do people know of inspireddigital.com? Right? So it's like, it's safe to assume that if I'm tracking the people who are actually coming here, they're most likely into, into something that I'm into, right? Because how outs or why outs would you even come here? You're not going to Google and type in inspired digital. You never even heard of that before, right? But, but if you come across my email, if you're on my email list and if I'm bringing people here or if, you, or, or if you're following me on YouTube, on YouTube and then you look at these videos in the description, yeah, in the description, I have all my links and then I have, I have links out to these different pages. But um, let me show you. Shout out to that dude, Alaric. Alaric, I guess that's how you. But in here, yeah, see, this dot com is right here. So if you're coming across my web page, my whole thing that I'm getting out of it is that I'm tracking you. And so if I ever want to run a Facebook ad pertaining to any of these types of subjects, most likely I can target you because I'm, I'm, I'm tracking you. Facebook's tracking you with my Facebook pixel. And that's what it was all about, man. That's what this video is all about is that a few days, the past few days, I literally have gone through all my pages, every page I have, man, every page I'm selling something on every page I have when it pertains to my, my digital book, when it pertains to my digital course and when it pertains to, um, um yeah that's pretty much it i mean my and my social media clients i mean and my social media clients which is what my book and my course is that's what it is that's what it's for so it's like it's for my social media clients um but i wanted everything to match right i wanted everything to match and i wanted i wanted to 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 just kind of keep this brand color going right try to build something off of it obviously this is a different brand this is a different blue that's a different whole different side of my business but it's this one right here it's this this white you know this white and blue one so i cloned a lot of them that's what i spent time doing in the last few days right so what i ended up doing last night and it literally took me freaking two hours not not long at all man not not long at all in kartra this is where i host all my landing pages not just the first page you see and you click on it and you put your name and number I'm talking about the page you see after that. And then when they, when you click on a button, cause I'm trying to take you somewhere else now, I'm talking about that page too. All these different pages that consist of a sales funnel, it could go so many different ways, but a lot of times it could to be highly, highly profitable. And that's what I'm seeing all my mentors do literally running a Facebook ad or a YouTube ad, taking it straight to one page, watching a webinar and buying something. That's as basic as it gets. But when you, when you create multiple things like that, there's multiple pages that are involved, right? So I, again, cloned these right here, these blue and white ones. And then I wanted to double check to make sure that every page, but then I ended up looking at all my pages. I went through the categories. Look, you come over here, you hit my pages, you log in, you hit my pages. And then you click on all categories it's already going to be by default on all categories, but if I want, I can click on this and I can go four day cash machine. So any page that I created, I categorized it, right? These two pages are the same. Um, five steps. These five 
pages are the same. Different video, different message, but they're all the same. It's cloned. It's a series. I wanted to match all of them, you know, and, and they're all individual pages. Um, digital agency blueprint. So if you guys, again, if you guys are interested in knowing how in the hell I built my agency, I started an agency, a social media agency, one niche from day one, and that was in 2016. 2016 started going after one niche and just mastering what what they needed and 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 at the end of it all i knew i knew 99 percent of them were missing the basics they're missing the basics even yeah no matter what business you're in no matter what type of entrepreneur you are 99 percent of you guys miss the basics when it comes to social media marketing and facebook advertising the basics so um if you're if, if you're remotely interested on in knowing how in the hell i built mine um scaled it to a book scaled it to a digital course and now scaling it to to monthly retaining clients like starting from from messaging people in the dm and in closing multiple clients per week all through the dm that's what i'm gonna be teaching next is teaching people exactly how i did it exactly how on demand i'll go on a social media right now find my niche send them a message and have them on the phone tomorrow like i can literally schedule appointments on demand and i think it's very unique and there's a million people that have taught oh how they built their social media agency but most of them never were really in the trenches. And, and again, most of them built it completely different. And that's fine. There's so many successful people. Not everyone does the same shit. It don't even matter. I just believe I had a different approach. I, I totally believe that, that, I have a, that I have and that I had from day one a completely different approach than what 99.9% .9 of all these social media agency gurus are teaching in their $1,500 course. You know what I mean? I just been in the trenches. I've been really in the trenches and I, and I started with a bootstrap freaking on a shoestring budget type of budget. In fact, there was no budget. I didn't even have the shoestring type of no budget. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, what am I saying? Where was I going with that? Is that that's digital agency blueprint.com. So if you're anything, you know, interested in that whatsoever, get on the get on the newsletter and I'll, I'll email you as soon as possible digital agency blueprint.com that link is in the is in the description but I, I i i have all these different pages right that i'm building out all these different pages in each category it all serves a purpose if you guys are in on any of my other email lists you guys probably got these emails these are all pages but they're also emails they're the link that i used in the email when i got you to click somewhere Rather than having you click on it and going to watch the video on YouTube, I had you click on it and you went to go watch the video on my landing page, which happened to be this one. This is one of them. You got my email because you're on my email list. I told you to click on the link to watch the video and it brought you here. The whole reason why I'm bringing you here to a landing page is so I can track you with my Facebook pixel. That's why, man. That's why. Whether you watch it or not, okay, whatever. But you landed here. I emailed you. You're on my list. You opted in. Right? You got my email. You're interested in what I'm talking about, right? So I send you an email. You click on it. What most you know, amateurs will do is they'll send you to YouTube, which is fine, which is fine. Actually, which is not fine. No, it's not fine. I'm going to take that back. It's not fine. Don't send me an email with a link that I click on and you bring me out to YouTube. Don't bring me out to YouTube, okay? Now you can show me a YouTube video, but don't take me out to YouTube. You wanna take me out to a page. And this is a page that you would have created, a simple, simple page. You know, your social media icons at the bottom, you click on any single one of them and take, it takes you to my page. Um, people can share it on social media. They click on this and then boom, I take them to Kartra where that's my affiliate link and shout out to to all of you guys that are jumping aboard kartra profit with kartra dot online that link is in the is in the description that's a 14-day trial for the kartra pages and email autoresponder everything i've been mentioning man there's a 14-day trial but for everyone that gets started you get me for free you get my time for free i'll jump on the phone i'll walk you through it i'll freaking hold your hand i'll build you some shit out like we will do that together um until you won't need me anymore you know, it only takes a couple calls and boom, you understand it. We have trainings every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific time, where Kartra jumps on and does a live screen share. And they freaking walk us through all kinds of different amazing things of the, of the software. So it's like if you're doing anything online, you owe it to yourself, man. 
ProfitWithCartridge.online. Try it. I, 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 because here's the deal, man. I'm not going to send you out to YouTube. I'm sending you out to my page that I created and installed my Facebook Pixel so I can track you and Facebook can categorize you and I can run an ad to you in the future. So last night is when I came over to my page. Okay, let's close these out. I came over to my page and I wanted to make sure that all the pages, all the pages had the correct Facebook pixel because I've been moving pages around and, 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 I'm, and I'm building out multiple campaigns. So you don't want, that's why I'm saying, man, look, I have three different products that I'm going to be sharing with people, right? These are all three different audiences. Like these are not the same audiences at all, dude, at all, at all, at all, at all, right? So I have a Facebook pixel for this side. I got a pay Facebook pixel for digital agency blueprint. I got a Facebook pixel for the social real estate agent. I got a Facebook pixel tracking all this stuff. If I click on this and I go over to my, to the, to the social real estate agent.com, this is a completely different pixel. So this Facebook pixel, this is a different pixel, right? In my account, this is my pixel. Don't get me wrong. This is my pixel, but what I'm saying is that it's a completely different campaign. It's a completely different audience. So when I created all these pages the last few days, I needed to go back in and, and, and make sure that the correct pixel was on all the pages. And that's what I did, man. So what you want to do before you run another Facebook ad, before you go and build another page, before you, first of all, if you're building pages and you're putting stuff out like this, you're, you're, you're selling something and you're, and you're running and, and you're, you're, I'm assuming you're here because you're looking to see how in the hell do I run an ad or how in the hell can I take it up an, an, another level, right? That's why you're probably here. You got to take it up another level, man. But at the same time, it's going to come down to paid, paid traffic. Like it's going to come down to paid traffic, right? And so as, as, as I put my Facebook pixel, I'm going to be able to run paid traffic and, and be able to distinguish which campaign is which, obviously, right? But I wanted to make sure, man. I, so what I did is last night, I literally started from the top. Like these are all my different categories. I have all these different categories of pages. So that's all it is. Like it's a category. Those are the two pages within that category. Um, over here, this is a category. These are all the pages within that category, right? So you're able to group it all together and keep it all organized, right? So I wanted to make sure, man, that I had the correct Facebook pixel on all these pages. So I literally started at the top and I went into freaking this page or this category, 40 cash machine. These are the two pages. And I came in here, hit the three dots, hit edit. This is what you want to do, man, before you run another Facebook ad, before you run another Facebook ad or before you um, um, build another landing page, you have to make sure that the Facebook pixel is installed. Okay. The correct one, because a lot of you guys got multiple ad accounts. Maybe some of you only have one ad, ad account, but if you have multiple ad accounts, you got multiple pixels and you're most likely building multiple, you know, products or offers or whatever. Um, and even if you're dealing with clients, if you're building an agency or if you're a freelancer and you're dealing with clients, those are all different pixels as well. That's not your pixel. So you better make sure that that, that landing page has the correct pixel. So again, man, I wanted to make sure because this is super important. I need Facebook to collect that data. I need Facebook to, to I need to be able to, to, to distinguish what person's landing where, right? So I don't run ads to that person in the future. You don't want to run ads to a person who already bought your product. You don't want to show them the same ad over and over and over if they've already bought your product. You got to be able to, to segment that. And so this Facebook pixel is the most important. It's what allows you to do that when you set it up the right way. So when you come in here, you click on settings, SEO parameters, this right here, you always want to change the title. That's what I do first. I change that title. Up here, you see the names, Inspired Digital, Inspired Digital, the Social Real Estate Agent. The name in the title, that's the tab, right? Kartra. The name in that tab is, is, in my opinion, one of the most important and also overlooked a lot of the times. Come in here, man, and change that page title right away, right when you open up a new page, okay? And then tracking code. So no matter what software you're using, it's all the same. Um, but this is how you're doing it, on, how we're doing it on Kartra. 
this right here is where my code goes. This is the Facebook pixel. Okay, so I'm telling Facebook, hey man, everyone who lands here, track them, track them, and track them under view content. So I can know that these people, now it's not going to give me name and phone number, so don't, don't, you know, trip out on privacy. No, dude, all that's legit. But they just group people, they just group it. They, they just, they, they say, okay, here's a group. Here, they're not going to give you name and number, but here's the number, here's the group. You can retarget them. You, and, and that's the whole purpose, man. The whole purpose is to retarget that visitor, retarget that non-buyer, retarget that buyer. People who already scheduled an appointment. Let's say you guys are any type of co coaching or consultants or real estate agents or whatever you guys do and you deal with clients. Let's say you're, you're, you're running Facebook ads to get more, more, more clients to find people to do business with, right? They click they schedule an appointment. Let's say you're going for appointments. They click, they schedule an appointment. They go to a landing page. I mean, excuse me, they go to a thank you page. They schedule their appointment and then boom, it takes them to a confirmation page that says, hey, thank you for scheduling. That confirmation page, every page, man, needs to be pixeled. Every page needs to be pixeled. So the way we get here, look again, settings, tracking and code, and this is the code. Now let me show you where to get this. You're going to come into your ads manager, okay? Come into your ads manager. Make sure Inspired right here, you drop, hit that drop down. You'll see a bunch of different ad accounts. If you have multiple ad accounts, but if you don't, then just, you know, you'll see your name right there. Make sure you're in the right ad account and then hit these three lines and you're going to straight come down to pixels. If you don't see it there, hit all tools and you're going to come over to pixels right here, okay? Under events manager. Super, super basic and super important, man. Super important. I had a, I had a, a, a meeting today, man. Honest to God, shout out to, um, it, it, well, I spoke to Christina and I spoke to, um, um, what was her name? Dang it. You know what? Let me check the calendar real quick because that's going to bug me. I spoke to and brought aboard both clients, by the way. But I want to get her name right because she was super cool. And we're about to crush it. Yeah, it was Christina. So Jessica and Christina. But Christina is, is someone who I spoke to earlier, right? For sure. I spoke to Jessica as well. But recently, I spoke to Christina recently um, today. And... She was showing me her 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 um her ads, and she was showing me where she takes where she takes them after the, when they click learn more. So when I click on learn more, where are you taking me? That's what I always tell people, man. That's what I always point out. Look, if I come to the home, and I'm just scrolling through, scrolling through, seeing what everybody is up to, seeing what what's going on, and then I come across an ad. Let's see an ad. I come across an ad. Here goes Tanner. I come across an ad, right? And then I click on it. Or actually, you know what? Not click on his name, but if I clicked on learn more, right? Damn it. Let's do that again. If I click on learn more, right? I was speaking to Christina earlier. She was showing me her ad. I clicked on learn more on her ad and she literally took me to a website. Now this guy, he knows what he's doing. He's taking me to a landing page and the landing page up here, look, Facebook pixel helper is telling me that he's pixeling me, which is totally fine. Good job. He got, he knows what it takes. Simple piece of code is on his webpage, right? which is allowing Facebook to track it, which he can use as leverage to run future Facebook ads and retarget. Super powerful, that's the name of the game. And that's why I have my hub, which is why I was showing you inspireddigital.com. Only reason why I have it, man, is to pixel you. So whoever's going there is obviously interested in what I, what I got going on. Cool, man, you're my audience. Let me make sure I stay in front of you. Let me make sure I hit you on Instagram with an ad. Let me make sure I hit you on Facebook with an ad. Let me make sure that I hit you on YouTube with an ad, right? 
because everything is being tracked. Everything is being pixeled. Now, this guy, back to Christina, I click on learn more. She takes me to a website, man, a website where there's a million things going on. Look, even though this guy has a ton of text, he only has one button to click on. It's one button, one button, right? It's one button to click on. And so that's uh, th this right here. I have no doubt. He's probably converting. He's probably definitely converting. If I click on the, the, um, the, um, yellow button, look, he's taking me straight into a 37. He's taking me from a cold ad. I never seen this guy ever before North node. Okay. Whatever. I never seen this guy. I never seen his ad. This is my Facebook account. And he's taking me straight from learn more straight to a freaking sales page like this. And it's $37. And I guess I can watch the video to see what it's like, but automatically he's going for the sale. He ain't playing around automatically. He's going for a sale. Okay. And he's probably doing very well. He's probably doing very well, but here's the point. Facebook pixel is installed and he's tracking the client I spoke to earlier, man. I'm like, Christina, I click on learn more and you're taking me to a website. That's problem. Number one. That's why you ain't capturing no leads. She didn't even say a word. She knew I was right. I said, problem number two is that there's no Facebook pixel on this web page. So not, so not only are you not, tr not only are you sending them to a website where there's not even anywhere to capture the lead, but you're not even tracking them with the Facebook pixel to even let Facebook know who even landed there. And I said, dude, rookie mistake, man, rookie, rookie mistake. And that's what inspired me to cut this video because just last night I was freaking going through all my pages to make sure that my, that the correct pixel was on it. Okay. And so here's what you want to do, man back into the into the software builder there's your tracking you come into here you come into facebook you click on you click on pixels and then what we're going to do super super important but this and, and this is super basic you guys okay so pay attention this is super basic so you're going to come in here and you're going to you're going to click on this, okay? So you're going to click on the actual name. And then this is a demo account by the way. And then you're going to install Pixel. Okay? Click on that. And then what we want is manually add Pixel code to website. And all we're going to do is right here, we want number 1, install base code on website. Super simple, man. Click on this. Okay? Hit continue. And you're going to click on manually add event code. Okay. We're going to click on this right here, manually add event code. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to choose which category best fits what you're doing. Me, it happens to be professional services, at least what I, is what I think, right? I'm not real estate. I'm not technology. I'm not travel. Um, I'm not a financial service, entertainment and media, education, e-commerce and retail. I go with professional services at all times. So this is what I'm telling you, man. This is what I literally did last night. This is stuff that you got to do, man. You have to do this stuff or don't even run a Facebook ad. And if you're not going to do this, don't even build landing pages. If you're not building landing pages or running Facebook ads, turn off this video now. But if you are running Facebook ads and you are doing landing pages, this is what I'm telling you. This is step one. This is basic. You have to do super basic, super simple. Choose your category. And what, and, and now we have event names. So Facebook is going to track all this stuff for you. Who viewed it, who completed a registration, who added their payment info, you know, customized product, initiate checkout, search, contact lead. If that was a landing page, okay. We would be setting up lead. Okay. But it's not a landing page. So it's not lead, but if it was, it'd be lead. If I was shooting people to a calendar and getting them to schedule, I would optimize and use the pixel code for a schedule. Okay, so depending on which one, let, we can think about it, find location, purchase, right? If you guys are selling stuff like that other ad that I just clicked on, he's for sure leveraging this, this event code right here, purchase, because automatically he's taking people in for a sell, 37 bucks automatically, right? So he's going with that one. That's gonna be a smaller piece of code, but what we did is we just copied the code, right? The long, the big code. 
we got to come over here to our landing page and we got to paste that in. Okay. So you're going to paste that in, right? You're going to paste that in. Then you're going to come over here after you paste it in. After you paste it in, you're going to hit enter a couple times, which is what I did. So I pasted in that code and then I hit enter, enter. And then this last piece of code right here, this last piece of code is what I, what I added next. This is view content. So I'm telling Facebook, whoever lands on this page, categorize it under view content. And so what I did is I went over here, I chose my category and then I went view content. I don't need parameters. I copy the code. I hit done. Then I come over back to my page and I paste in that last piece. It goes right below. So right after the first paste, that longer code, this is the longer code. That's the first Facebook pixel. That's the initial, that's the master code, so to speak. You can, you can definitely look at it that way. That is the master code. That code is going to go on every page, but if, but on every page, every page is different. That, that's why you're going to add the second piece because now they're going to give you even more special event code category where you can now categorize. Not only did someone land there, but they viewed the content. Not only did someone land there, but they also, let's go back. They also, completed a registration. They added their payment info. They, they, they filled out a form. So now they're a lead or they scheduled an appointment or they started a trial or they submitted an application. That's powerful, right? Facebook will be able to categorize these different event codes, right? For you. So you can look at, at your numbers and be like, damn, okay. And then, and then, and then also in the future, when you start running ads, you'll start running conversion ads. You'll start running um, different types of ads where you'll be able to leverage this type of information. Um, you'll be able to exclude people, people that filled out a lead form. You don't want to keep running the same ad to them, right? You got to exclude them from future ads. And as you start to set this up, as you start to set up custom conversions, as you start to set up custom audiences, there's a lot of good little tricks that you can do, man. So FB for FB ads for beginners, FB ads for beginners.com. The link is actually the first pinned post. So fbadsforbeginners.com, jump on that list if this is something brand new. If this is something brand new, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, if that's something new to you, allow me to just teach you these basics, man. I, help, I have an entire training course that I'm literally putting together for literally pennies, pennies, man. This thing is going to be pennies compared to what you're going to be able to do. I'm in the trenches every day. Been building an agency and running these these Facebook ads since 2016 and just constantly learning, man. Right. I don't know it all yet. No, man. That's why I'm focused on the, on the beginner is because I, I, I mastered that part right now. Now me personally, I keep learning, man. I keep learning because to tell you the truth, all you need to do, man, is be a few steps ahead of your audience and you can teach a few steps ahead, whatever the hell your passion is at, whatever you're good at, man, it could be anything, man. It don't have to be internet stuff. It could be anything. If you remain a few steps ahead, you're the coach. There's always a coach. There's always a teacher. There's a teacher. There's the classroom. There's the coach. There's the team. There's always a coach. So if you can stay a few heads, a few steps ahead, man, um, you could definitely coach. You can teach. You can train. You can monetize. You can bring value. You can create online educational courses that people literally buy, and you can scale it. And it could be crazy, man. That's where that's where we're all headed, right? So knowing these basics, man, are the most, most important. So you can always categorize what categorize whatever it is. And so what I did, man, here's where I'll end it. I hit apply, right? I hit apply. And then I come over here and I hit publish live. And now that new code, again, I already had code on it, but just to be safe, man, I wanted to restrip it all. I wanted to redo it all. Cause I redid, I redid a lot of pages. I, again, I, I, I switched around a lot of pages. So it's like, I know there were links that weren't even there anymore and there were links that were broken. So I, I wanted to just update everything, which is what I did. And then last night I want, I wanted to go through each page in every campaign that I have. And these are the different categories. I have products, digital products 
in these different categories, four day cash machine, the FIDA email, that's just an email series, but digital agency blueprint, inspired digital. These are all different categories where I have different products, my book, my other uh, digital product, which is stop, click and invite. So um, my free book category, which gets people to get my course. So it's like different things, right? Different, different things. I literally went through every single one of them through every page and did that process. Went in, clicked on edit, clicked on settings, clicked on tracking code, got my Facebook pixel, made sure it was under the correct event name. And I started pasting that thing on everything on each product. I have different products, different niches, different, completely different categories, but it was so important before I ever thought about running my next Facebook ad, every pixel better be in place. Bottom line. And that's where you start, you guys. That's where you start. So you need software. You need software. Your software is for your landing pages and your email autoresponder. When you capture that lead, that lead needs to stay in touch with you and you're going to stay in touch with them via email. Bottom line. It's not going to be through text message. It's not going to be through Facebook messenger. It's not going to be through just Instagram. Hit me on Instagram. No, dude, you're going to have thousands of people on an email list that you're able to automate messages that go out to them daily or messages that go out to them every three days. And you're able to, to bring value to a very specific niche that gives a shit what you're talking about. Right. And it could be about anything, man, worms, slime, freaking garbage, pal, kids, baseball cards, freaking God. Right. You can have a podcast. So many people are blowing up on YouTube, man. And, and just, it, it's just so amazing. The time that we're in you guys, you could be talking about anything and, 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 and you will find a, a group of like-minded people that give a damn and that will follow you and eventually start buying your shit. Like bottom line, like people that you're going to be able to bring value to people that are going to, that, that, are, that are waiting to hear your message. That's what I'm saying, man. If I had someone that I, which I did, I had people that I was clinging on in the very beginning when I didn't know, didn't know nothing about a Facebook ad, when I did not know nothing about a YouTube video, when I was just getting started, 2016, when I was just getting started, I was trying to find my mentors. Right. And then I came across building a social media agency and I'm like, dude, I can do that. Like I've been closing people over the phone since I was freaking a kid. Like I could, I could sell people, you know what I mean? So 2016 is when that took off and that's what I still do to this day. That's my full-time business. But, um, what was I saying? Where was I going with that? But, um, 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 damn it. I forgot where I was going with that, but, um, I'll think of it. I'll think of it. It was just so important that I made sure that that pixel man was on, was on every page. So just make sure that you guys do that. Make sure that you guys do that. You know, first create all your pages, add that Facebook pixel and then start creating custom conversions, which will be another video, but start creating custom audiences, which will be another video. But, um, and that's it, man. And then that's it. And then you start finding your audience, start targeting people that are landing on your pages. That's why I want you guys landing on these pages. That's what I email. If I sent you straight to YouTube, I couldn't track that. Even if that video, I mean, that video, if I send you straight to YouTube, okay, I'm getting the video view out of it. But if I put that YouTube video on my page, I'm getting the video view out of it and I'm getting the Facebook pixel tracking. That's why you have to put it on your page. If you have any audience, if you're in the fitness industry, you know, if you're into, into fitness and you're building a business around fitness and you got these people that are opting in because you're giving away some type of diet guide or you're giving away some type of muscle builder, you know, 10 page PDF, you're giving something out for free, right? To, to opt in. Once that person's on that email list, you're going to start emailing them and where you're linking them to is the most important. Wherever you're linking them to your Facebook pixel needs to be tracking that bottom line, bottom line, bottom line. So when you're, so that, that's what I'm saying, man, is that every email that you guys get right now, look in your inbox, dude, if, if you don't believe me, look in your freaking inbox, like look in your inbox, look in your spam, look in your inbox, look at all these different advertisements. Now, not the crazy freaking crazy ones, but normal, decent companies that are trying to market to you and, and, and sending you different promotions or whatever incentives and, 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 and enticing type of promotions, open that email, click on it. Where are they taking you? It's all about that tracking, man. It's all about that tracking because once you can track everyone, then you can continue to remain in front of them. And when you can build that relationship and remain relevant and, 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 and get people indoctrinated because every damn corner they turn, you're there 
How, how do you think that happens? You go to Amazon, you're searching around for shit, and then all of a sudden you don't buy, you leave, and your shopping cart's still there. You end up seeing an ad on Facebook two minutes later. Why? Because they're tracking you. You're looking at baby stuff on babiesrs.com. You're looking at strollers and baby chairs. Okay, you leave that website, and then boom, you go to Facebook, and then you start seeing ads on baby stuff. That's Facebook pixeling, man. We retarget people who are interested in stuff. It's not like anything crazy about it. That's what's so crazy about everyone thinking, oh, privacy and all this bullshit. It's like, dude, we have no privacy, first of all. But second of all, no one cares. Like, no one even cares. Like, no one even cares. So it's not even something you worry about. You know what I mean? Um, but it's just crazy times to be building something, man. And you want to be tracking that person. You want to be tracking them. So you can run ads to them in the future. You can stay top of mind. People become indoctrinated. And before you know it, people are doing business with you. That's why I shout out to every single one of you. Why in the hell are you guys subscribed to my channel? And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys are looking to learn. Social media marketing. I'm, okay, I'm building one. Facebook ads. Okay, I'm running them. Um, driving traffic to a landing page and getting them to buy shit. Okay. I'm selling shit. You know what I mean? So these are basic stuff that I'm in the trenches with and I'd love to help you guys, man. I use Karcher for everything profit with Karcher dot online. That's a 14 day trial for you guys. Reach out to me, set it up and reach out to me and say, Hey David, let's jump on a call. I just signed up. Um, I got 14 days to try to build this thing. I'll jump on with you, man. I'll jump on with you. Shout out to every single one of you that have taken advantage of that. Um, but we jump on, we get down and dirty and, 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 and we go at it, right? We build stuff together. That's what we do with, with Kartra. And then if you're new to Facebook ads, fbadsforbeginners.com, that link is pinned FB ads for beginners, the number four, for beginners.com. That's for the beginner, man. So if you're new to this stuff, jump on that, on that VIP list and I'll start teaching you what I'm doing when it comes to driving traffic to landing pages um, building email list all through paid traffic, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and now soon to be even YouTube ads. So stay in touch, man, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Install that Facebook pixel before you run another Facebook ad. All right, man, over and out.